The traditional values I grew up on were education, first and foremost. Probably meet your husband at college. Get married, finish college. I wouldn't say that my family was pushing me to have a career. I think the place I come from would have been happy if I did just get married and start pumping kids out and have a successful husband. That was kind of what people, that's what people do where I'm from. Well, I'm a grower fast, never look back, find some problems in my own. Said I'm a grower fast, never look back, find some problems in my own. My music's hard to peg because the music itself, the instrumentation, doesn't follow a rigid guideline. It's not something I had like a large ego behind, which a lot of musicians, that's a driving force for their careers. I'm not trying to sell, sell anything to anyone. Really ain't selling shit. No. She's just who she is. I think that Rudy Harmon is an anomaly in the music industry. There's no one like her. She is writing music with such a thick emotional muscle that people can't contain what they feel. She's creating a vessel for her listeners to really understand who they are. The genre itself is about people's stories, real life. It's not about how many things you own or making cool sounds with digital instrumentation. It's just really simple music that is about folks' experiences. The reason I don't straight out say I play country music is because I've always been told I don't. I've never really tried, I just write my own music. I've gathered all day, pushing pairs of the straw. I grew up on the river, so it feels like home. Even the smell of rotten fish is kind of nostalgic, I don't know, and comforting, except for when my dogs are all in it. I worked on a ranch that's just past. It's all fogged out right now, but the furthest grass and fog was the ranch that I worked on. so bad for teenage girls. Oh, well, we had it bad, but these poor girls breaks my heart. I mean, I see the way little girls look at me when they see me in public. It's kind of cool. If I would have seen someone like me when I was their age, it probably would have affected me deeply. I've always worked and been in male-dominated industries, and I mean, I was raised in a male-dominated world. I just try to be as strong within myself as I can be, and I hope that young girls will be able to look up to me as a source of strength, you know? Because I did forge my own path. I've done what I've wanted, and it's hard in the beginning doing that, but in the end, it always pays off. September Dad he would die one month later I think my, my dad's death when he died it really snapped me out of the concrete path I was like given to walk down it snapped me out of that so I had to grow up really quick I was the eldest for a young person to go through so much trauma and just hardship and grief it not only calluses you, but it opens you up to a whole new way of thinking and world because you've already gone through the worst. So nothing's really that scary. I do get a little bitter thinking about my childhood if I would have just been 
more supported with my guitar lessons, more supported with my interest in horses. I just felt like I could do whatever the hell I want after he died. I'm doing everything I wanted to do as a kid. My mom said that he would want to be doing everything that I've done, but he did what his parents wanted. He's a really big part of me. So, how do you think he feels about you now? Stoked. He's, he's always around, I know that much. Half a heart keychain was sitting top of your desk. Now there's some catchy tunes that she has on the record, but within those catchy tunes is that emotional muscle, is that connection to humanity, the truthfulness, and the honesty. I'm excited to tour and keep playing shows and just keep meeting people that love my music and meeting other musicians and finding inspiration through other musicians' stories and careers. I'm looking forward to winter in Montana and spring and summer and continuing my life here. Was sitting top of your dash A new way seen it, she had the other half, I knew before I died.